When we hold faith in theory and we don't put it into action, there's no power behind what we do. It's when we walk in that power that the demon is the one backing up, that the devil is the one going into retreat mode because somebody has got a hold of the power of the word of God and they're walking in relationship with him. There's power in that. Some of you have wondered this before. You're going, man, I'm struggling to sing in my life, and I've quoted scripture over it, and it's not helping. You've got to connect to the source. There ha- there's no other way to connect with Jesus outside of submission to him. We don't come serve God and say, okay, I like this part about God, this part, so we'll work this out. No, we bow the knee. And the Bible says that every knee will bow, every tongue confess that he is Lord. I choose to do that on this side of eternity, that he is Lord. Therefore, when my feelings come in contrast with the word of God, what do I do? I submit my feelings to the word of God. Lord, I feel this way or I think this way, but your word declares and your word is more powerful than any thought I've ever had. And so then it's not just enough for me to say, yes, so I agree with this. I've got to act as though I agree with this. And when I do, that power will back me up. Oh, shout Jesus from the mountains and Jesus in the streets. Oh, Jesus in the darkness over. something about and I want you to hear this there is something so powerful when you get a revelation of who Jesus really is not what you've been told not relying on someone else's experience not just hearing the things passed down from from grandpa and grandma it's I'm talking about your own relationship with him when you develop that and you get a revelation of who Jesus Christ really is to you it changes you you to know guys today in the year 2024 the same thing is true what will build the church of Jesus Christ is not a good game plan it's not us coming up with better strategies and catchy slogans what will build the church of Jesus Christ is individuals getting a revelation of who Jesus is because when that happens in you you can't wait to share that with somebody else you can't wait to tell your friend your neighbor whoever it is look what he's done in me And then he says, after these 40 days have gone, he gets to the place in Acts 1 and he says, I want you to go wait in the upper room because I'm going to send you power. Power. Why? What's the purpose of the power? To be witness. I'm going to give you power to be my witness. Now I want you to think. Your name is power. Your name.